boy oh boy it has been a while <laughs> hopefully i don't utterly forget how to play <laughs> consequence of binging as hard as i was <clears throat> as hard as i was early on is that now i come back to the game and i'm like uh crap uh finally ran out of that backlog of episodes i made in a little bit Hopefully everyone hasn't died while I've been gone or something. Because that's a whole thing to think about that's being removed in the next game, but is something you have to worry about is like, oh yeah, is everyone gonna die while I'm off camera? And am I gonna finally have resources, or is the game still gonna be like, nah, brah, you're still out of resources. How's my population going? Been waiting for those pop-ups. Come on. Build a training area. Population 13, is that... That's at least close to where I left off. I don't remember if I was at 13 specifically last time. You've impressed a lot of people around here. So, you know, if you wanted to claim dibs on some of the better gear, I don't think anybody'd mind. Did anything change? Huh. Things seem... No real updates at all. Weird. Weird. But fine. Okay, so time to get something out of the way, because it's the mo one of the most reoccurring comments, really. So let's try to do this. Say so this is Jacob. Who else here? You're fine. You're fine. You're sick. Can I play as you anyway? I can. But you're probably fine also. I think. Are you not reloaded? There we go. You're equipped with something. So people have been making it clear that apparently you have, to, you have to manually equip every single character one by one, which seems Not now. a little dumb, but okay. Now that person's busy. So I need to check to see that everyone has a gun equipped, basically. Because uh, some of these people just stand around, and it's kind of a problem. Uh, seems a... It, it strikes me as kind of silly, because I'm just thinking, like, why can't you people just freaking... Another time. Another ah, I can't, I can't man that character because they're busy doing other stuff. Let's get shotguns off of people because they keep manning the uh, tower with their shotgun and then generally not doing great with that. Another time. It's just been a weird, weird thing to watch happen. It seems odd to me just because uh, when you're introduced to this game, you're introduced to in, in the context that the entire place is like self-sufficient and running without you, and then you're just one survivor they're allowing in. And then before long it becomes clear, clear that they're like, no, uh, everyone else sucks, and they will die without you, and apparently they literally are not smart enough to like grab a weapon half the time. Let's give some of these people ranged weapons with the hope that they'll be able to defend the base better, I suppose. The problem is the dude that's actually- I think the dude that's actually manning it right now, I can't control it all, which is frustrating. That means I can't give him a weapon. And if there is a way to give him a weapon, I don't really know how to do it. Let's see. I was looking at that rifle. That's a 5.56. We've got that. There we go. Be able to make use of that, hopefully. Okay. But yeah, because the, because the story introduces everything like it's uh, self-sufficient and whatnot, it just feels strange to then realize that your character's uh, base. You're the farming expert. You probably don't need a weapon, right? So I guess the idea is to then try to train some of these characters as we go, because some of these characters are very high level and some of them are not. Because I've been uneven along the way. Still can't play as Lily Ritter. But just to complete just to complete the thought, the uh, the way that the base looks like it's running on its own when you arrive here is what leads to me feeling like the people would be smart enough if they were going to say go man a uh, tower for example to actually take the moment to uh, you know, grab a gun themselves or like if the base is under attack, you would think they'd all grab guns and things like that if they don't have one and defend themselves, but instead they seem to cower, which is weird. Oh, you're manning the tower. Let's see, which person is that? 
brown hair. Probably you. You're away from home. So it's not Anna. Haley? Guard duty, watchtower. It's Haley. Who's busy then? You're the one with the shotgun, right? You're on a, oh, you're on a mission. If I want to equip you with something besides a shotgun, I need to deal with the fact that you're on a mission right now. Okay. It seems like no time has passed at all. I say that because all my vehicles are still busted. You're gonna want to hear this. Weird. You use a diversion. Sounds like they're in a bad spot. I want to offer them a hand. Weird, Sometimes weird thing. All right, quick reminder. Is Janet one of my people? Yes. Okay. Probably you right here. Just help clear an infestation. I think I'm going to go with civic duty and progress the story a little bit because I keep... Oop. That's just a Zed hunt. There are constant new objectives at all times. I think I'm going to take a break from those and focus on and focus on the whole Zed hunt. I mean, on the uh, main mission. Because the it's very easy to get infinitely trapped in the sandbox of this game, I think. And just continue forever. Without ever proceeding with the story. And I'm going to inch away from that a bit. I've, I've done the sandbox for a while now. And you, I definitely get a sense that the game's stagnating a bit. It, it constantly gives me stuff to do, but it's very much like an infinite loop. Like, this idea that the game will just keep... will just never run out of things for you to do. But new tasks have dwindled a bit. Excuse me. Let's try progressing the story. Especially since that, in a game about uh, war of attrition against the against the environment, uh, stagnation is death, probably. How long has it been since you wait? I don't know. What day is it today? Jesus, this is getting ridiculous. I bet Judge Lawton's not going. Whatever you say. Guess that's one of the perks of having all the guys with guns working for you. I'm telling you, if it wasn't for my girls, I think I'd take my chances on my own. What? Oh my god! At least then I'd be able to keep the food I found. Jude sound oh bye. They're just gonna run out there with no weapons? Okay. Bye bye. Jude sounds a lot like the guy the the main the first character we got. Marcus, I think his name was. Ooh, resources acquired. Hooray. Hello, hole in the pl <laughs> There's a hole in the uh, environment. The, te the textures don't match up. Oh, weird. I think... Yeah, that's just like a... Yeah, it's just a weird mistake. Huh. Odd detail. Music's weirdly loud right now. I could barely hear what they were saying. Here, so I walked up to this dude, and he was talking to me, and then uh, I was like, let's take a break. So I turned off the game, and then I came back later, and I had teleported back home. I'm like, oh, oh, you don't, you don't load back in where you left off. What do you want? Not you, the guy that's inside you. Okay, I can push him a little bit. They're now inside of each other. Feel like lending the hand? I'm on it. Hope you're geared up. We've got a few infestations to deal with. Hey, if I've got backup, I can deal with an infestation. Actually, if I have a car, I can pretty much deal with an infestation, but backup helps too. Is that guy backup also, or is he just staring at me? <laughs> oh, awesome! Double- that guy just jumped off the ledge like <laughs> hardcore, hardcore middle-aged man. Uh, awesome, double backup. Infestation should be super easy then. Trouble up ahead there. It'll be fine. <laughs> Boink. I got my tire threader. Get back, back in my big old truck and we'll just flatten that infestation. And if anything goes wrong, I've got double backup. I could just figure out how to make it always be double backup through the entire game and I'd be set. Zombie horde alerted. I hate to see the old girl like this. I'm, I'm confused. The town. Been on rough times for a while now. They used to be a damn fine place to live. Raise a family. Whatever you say. 
course, my wife didn't agree, but never you mind. What happened? Well, she married a machinist, didn't like it when I became a cop instead. She finally had enough a few years back. Took our son to the city. Said it would be a more enriching environment for him. Sorry. Not your fault. I just hope things there aren't as bad as they are here. It looks pretty clear to me. Yeah, about time things started looking up. Let's make this happen. Oh, I'm working on it already. Don't don't you worry. Thought it'd be an enriching in, in, in environment. Oh, who is that? Where's the actual guy? There he is. Can I just run him over? Is that all it takes? I don't think he's dead. Get off my car. <laughs> I like my car. Get off of it. There we go. Investigation cleared yet? Not quite. Oh. Who are you guys now? Got him. That's not so bad. What, is the thing next door not the other infestation we're here to we're here for? You should have seen Marshall in the first couple of Okay, what's up? Seemed like half the town was already dead or dying. The other half was trying to cram into the courthouse for protection. Where were we? Mayor Carson had got himself shot trying to cross the bridges. The city council was locked in a conference room. Can you get off that, please? The police station was overrun. It was chaos. Where were we? Judge Lawton stepped up. Got us all organized, kept people from each other's throats. So maybe she's not technically the law of the land. But damn sure we'd all be dead without her. Okay, I'll run this home. So you're like, you're a, you're a talker, ain't ya? Make space for all this stuff. Um, there's one. Yeah, don't mind me. No need to lend a hand. I would love, uh, press this button to make your team scatter and grab stuff. Button. Okay, I'll run this home. Although it is, we'll it is frankly, uh, helpful just to have them be like, watching me. I just don't have to be worried. Did I clear out What's both infest- I did. I cleared out a double infestation in, in one go. Because, yeah, there was two screamers, but there was only an icon for one screamer. So the other one must have been from this building. Well, that building's gone. Hey, was that his jaw? Oops. Hey, ammo. Okay, I'll run this. I'll home. take it. We'll be ready. Was that camera angle a second ago? I might not be able to recreate it. The guy just had a horrifying expression. I think I think it was like I think I was getting an X-ray of his of his uh, jaw or something. Probably should have moved the car. There we go. Going by, I probably want the rusty pipe in my inventory since it's, it stacks. Weapons stack less than ammo does. Anything that stacks is best is better stored in a vehicle because the stack sizes are bigger. Same rules used by uh, No Man's Sky actually, because in No Man's Sky when you had when you had uh, stuff that stacks, it stacked better in the slots of your ship compared to your inventory. Which is actually a significant distinction to keep track of. It would be an interesting thing to keep track of it throughout the game when you're playing it, if the game itself was more interesting. Oh boy. You'll notice, you'll notice that I never really complain. Because I, li I like this game. You'll notice that I never really complain about how the map is kind of small-ish. Because really, the uh, the ambition of making an infinitely long, inf infinitely, infinitely sized super galaxy is kind of a pointless endeavor if it doesn't lead to interesting mechanical interactions, which is what video games are. <laughs> Howdy, friends. I might just move on now. This thing's filling up. Yeah, it's filling up, and I'll be filling up soon. I can leave it at that. Go find the next infestation, apparently. Other side of town. 
or other other side of this thinner part of town, I suppose. Lots of stuff on fire. And same same souped up like orange cars repeating a few times. Folks can never see how good they got it until it's all gone. Mayday, mayday. Is anyone reading? We're trapped. Lots of zombies outside and we're out of ammo. Don't know how long we can hold out. Sit tight. Helps on the way. Come on. We can deal with the rest of these infestations later. We got to help those people first. Ooh, an excuse to leave behind the infestation. Please don't go black smoke. There we go. That's the whole horde, horde gone. Oh god. Okay. That's not ideal. Okay, I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to. Get off! Get off! There we go. We're gonna have to get out before this thing breaks. I want. I want to keep my hull. With a group of three people, we should be safe during melee combat. Whoa! D didn't really quite even realize that I had input that one. <laughs> that might have been a bit of intuition on my part to even do that reflexively without even realizing the enemy was weak yet. Hey, you in there? Consider this one searched. Not this one. Eh, half the doors are already hey, open because I've searched, I've searched so many buildings this way already. Because this, the, this, this game's like favorite thing to do is to have uh, a survivor get lost in this exact configuration of buildings, and then you search them all one by one. So now I go upstairs. I've said it before, I think, but this would be a... This seems like a decent place to hold up, just because the zombies would have to deal with stairs and a, and a singular point of ent entry. But meanwhile, you as a survivor could totally set up an escape route. Because there's a, there's a, a... There's back windows that have uh, a landing and everything. Like this... In the weird, fictional, out. hypothetical zombie scenario, this is probably the type of place that I would hope to have access to. Anybody home? I want to search this sometime. They said zombies outside, so I'm, it might be this group. Hello? There you are. It's Jessica. Hello, Jessica. Come with us. We can be a group of four people now. Hooray. This is great, actually. <laughs> it's such a big group of people. We can just roll through and destroy stuff now. Is there a way to recover s stamina faster without using up the thing, I mean? Hey, we don't want you. Ooh, nice. Yeah, I should be spacing out my play between characters more than I have. Because it you they make progression super fast and easy. Why are you on the outside, man? You're the area. Wait. Can I already do that? Zombies up ahead. Go through. I can't thank you enough. Thanks. We owe you big time. Don't you worry about it. We're happy to help. Yeah, I think we'll call it a day there. The rest of those infestations can wait a while. I appreciate the help, though. Oh, it's over. Oh, for backup. Your extra firepower when you need it. That's cool. 20 trust with these survivors just kind of ended. I'm All right. Something up. It's pretty garbled. Let me see what I can do. Damn it, people! How many times do I have to tell you? We need sentries watching the approaches. We're trying, but there's no good place to post sentries around here. I guess we're gonna have to fix that. The Grange needs fortifications. I'm on the move. I hear ya. The Grange is our neighbors that I like, right? The ones I'm trying to get on my team. I think it's that one, yeah. I want to keep them alive, because I want them to join me, so that's... on the top list of goals right now. Let's just retri- which is- let's just retire this ho this poor truck that's been through a lot now. How's it going? None of- there. none of these things are fixed up, are they? And this wasn't one of my designated vehicles, was it? No. 
Anna is scared. Crisis of faith. Sorry, other truck. But the other one has stuff inside, so you're gonna go on the road for now. There you go. There we go. I never gave you anything. Look at all that stuff. Oh, you know. Some stuff. Fortunately, I have to dump the rest manually. We still have 13. That's good. Nobody's manning them at the sentry right now. There's Marcus. Ah, my two most played characters recently, besides the DLC character, are both just hanging out reading. Here we go. Let's get rid of the stuff I picked up. There we go, back to a normal inventory size. And I may just want to switch characters just by default. Uh, you got a bit of experience in, and I could go play as somebody else, and we can keep cycling in and out. And get various characters that lack experience, some experience. Because obviously I've given Marcus a lot of playtime, look at that. At very, very, very full stars across the board, except for shooting, because I never shoot people, really. I only shoot the special infected. Gotta work on your on your uh, edged weapon skill. I get a feeling a lot of characters are gonna end up with melee specializations, ultimately. Sam still has crappy skills, surprisingly. I guess it's really just those two characters that have a lot of skill, because the other character I leveled up a lot died off-camera. I guess there's no real- I shouldn't be in a big hurry to switch necessarily, not yet. Somebody recovered from illness. Bunch of supply runs happened. That's all good news, sure. Let's see, we're now at 30 building parts. Wasn't I trying to upgrade something before? I think I was. Was the infirmary? Medical lab, it requires 40. If we don't help out soon, it may be too late. That requires a library. Right, I was trying to build a library because it's required for certain upgrades. And I can't get those upgrades to make certain characters safer and healthier until I get a library. So can I finally afford the library? Yes. Takes me down to 10 building supplies. You need 25 for the upgraded shooting platform. So, more building supplies across the board is, is, is an upgrade here. Let's see. I'm drowning in resources, so let's just cause... Oh, construction advice isn't ready? It will be soon, just not quite yet. Well, let's go help out, right? Help with the fortifications. What could go wrong? <laughs> uh, I should probably grab some more ammo. Or no, I was fine. I should probably grab a second stack of... Painkillers or something. Just in case, I didn't mean to do that many. Just in case, you know. Have any of the vehicles ceased to be constantly smoking yet? No? Still? Shit, man, like for reals. I have like 68 barrels of gas, and as far as I can tell, that's the only metric by which repairs are even handled. And this still isn't ready. It's my door, up. dick. I wouldn't mind some help getting past these assholes. Sounds like they're in a bad spot. So freaking them a hand. It's freaking Can games like I can't let you through that door. That's your door. Hello? Stop. 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 There we go. Is it ready yet? Boy oh boy. Okay. Are there random stray vehicles lying around? They're gonna take that long to repair. I might as well just grab another one. They're usually like right down here. Be proactive. Grab more vehicles. Even though I have four active garages at once, and you think that that'd be enough to make sure one's always ready. There is a cr ugh, piece of garbage. <laughs> Are these called station? I think they're called station wagons. I feel like I've never seen one in real life. I feel like I've only seen them in '80s movies. In fact, the primary thing I associate this vehicle with is Homeward Bound. And the people, the, the family singing the witch doctor song. Oh wait, is that a distraction spot right there? 
No, it's a hole infestation. That's that's like an ordeal. I'm gonna go help out the locals. On that topic, I think I only know the Witch Doctor song because of watching Homeward Bound over and over again as a child. So, I associate this vehicle specifically with that song, which is kind of a dumb song that you teach children. Ah, that, that'll be a nicer car to take on the way back. In fact, it'll be a nicer car to take right now. Yeah, this thing that feels like it's moving at negative speed. Here we go. Ah, uh, I don't even care if it's actually moving faster, but I think it is. Hello, darkness, my old friend. <laughs> Immediately. Honestly, I'll probably take the SUV back just because it's heavy. The trucks just feel better. Trucks and cop cars. Hello? I don't want to break into your house, but... I do that a lot, considering how it's not a great idea. <laughs> Hi. How do you do? Heard on the grapevine, you might need a hand. Yeah? Huh. Maybe Quentin's right after all. So here's the thing. We've had zombie attacks like five times already. And a couple of times they actually got inside. We need to build some real defenses. But construction's noisy. And we don't have enough guys to fight off zombies and fix the place up. We could really just cut the middleman out and just have you guys move in, because... You know... We already defended that place. In fact, you could put all this work into building a second watchtower to make it extra safe. Alright. No sweat. I'll run interference while your people work. Guess that's true, I owe ya. I'll meet you out front. We need to build some watchtowers, like they have down at the courthouse. It's a fairly... Hey, Bex. <sighs> what is it, Quentin? Not really, just, uh, <laughs> you know, checking in. Dude, what the hell? I saw you like ten minutes ago. Also, kind of busy here. Right, right, sorry. Stupid. Okay, I'm getting started. Keep those zombies off my back. I gotcha. I gotcha. Alright. Clink. <laughs> Howdy, everybody. So this place does look like it could, be, could become a proper base if they added all the stuff to it. It's got a nice perimeter to it. A bunch of- a series of different buildings that make up its insides. Oh. Uh. We had a pretty close call, right? I mean, zombies were inside. We were all freaked. So we. Hold up. Ah. This first. What's happening? You got him. You got him. There we go. Anyways. I mean, zombies were inside. We were all freaked. So we raided the liquor department afterwards, just to take the edge off. You know. What happened? So, yeah. We both drank more than we probably should, and there's this couch in the manager's office, and... Yeah. But now he's doing this whole lost puppy thing. Calling me around, and acting like we're married or whatever. That's like the most explicitly glitchy thing that's happened this entire playthrough, I think, is... Whatever the hell was on my screen in that part. That was an adventure. Who's fighting them over here? Wait, what? Wait, who's fighting them? Get out! Get off! Finish it off. Who are you? So damn tired. I'd love to say I know who you are, but it's really hard to keep track of all the people in this game because they're very similar. Losing trust for my driving now. Whoops. There we go. It's an inc oh, there's a horde coming. It's an incredibly minor point, but there is like a certain uh, jankiness that comes up. No, don't row towards the car, dummy. People in parking lots have more trust in, in drivers than you people do. Wow, all of them in one in one go. But it's really minor, but one a little hint of jankiness that comes up is the, uh... 
the issue of like, she's like, wow, that's two I owe you now. It's like, I'm not the same person. <laughs> I'm not the same human being that you met last time, I'm pretty sure. We're different humans. Maybe she means collectively, but it's just such a one-on-one a -on -one phrasing normally. Every time I drive around, they're gonna be like, Oh my god, he's gonna murder us. Lost trust. I'm like, no, I'm just trying to... I'm defending you effectively. There we go. I would be safely steering around them, but sometimes they dive like in front of my car and I'm like, what are you... What are you doing, man? What is your plan? Is that... Are they attacking the wall over there? That's not even like a defense. That's just... They're just hitting a wall. That's just like their thing, I guess. Huh. How's the uh, repair going? Did we run out of banter? Okay, well, I'm gonna wander off and kill that guy, because I guess he's probably part of this mission. Hi. You get lost? Oh. That gonna do you? Should give us some protection anyways. We would have lost a lot of people without you. That counts for something in my book. Anyway, thanks for the- Oh, what the fuck? Hold it right there. Hands where we can see him. Whoa. Easy there, Alex. It's me, Sheriff Carl. Look, we don't want any trouble, we're just here to talk. Yeah, you wasted a trip. Turn around, walk away, and forget you ever saw this place. Huh? Wait, who's Alex? Forget it. We're not interested in signing up with your little society. Ease up, Becca. Not everybody's out to kill us and take our stuff. It doesn't take everybody, just one. All right, we'll go. We're not here to pressure anybody. You folks stay safe now. Hope you're keeping your nose clean, Alex. Kind of setting up factions down here, huh? Oh, that guy's messed up, isn't he? It's a curiosity point just because, uh... We just were, where's my vehicle? Project. Oh, it's way over there. Well, I guess I never needed to do the, the call-in now. It's just over already. Let's grab you. You yanked me right out of the car. So we have multiple factions down here that are against each other. It's it's interesting because the opposite chunk of the map compared to where you start makes me wonder if maybe this entire like this was intentionally designed this way. I think I just killed a screamer. Woo! Physics moment there. Am I being chased by an animal one? Yep. Bye bye. Any hordes, you say? What about steaming cars? Because I got a lot of those, evidently. <laughs> I cannot repair them fast enough. Unfortunate. Is that one? Nope, they're all steaming. I don't trust. I don't trust sticking with them at that point. At least I'd prefer not to. Or at least I don't want to use them in a context where I'm going to be hitting things. We saw everyone reading before. I'm guessing this is paying off. Can I read any of the covers? The... I think the last word says table. Oh yeah, these are unreadably low resolution covers. Good luck. Good luck. Alright, how you doing, dude? You're tired? I should probably let you go then. So the meds were totally unnecessary because the uh, car strategy really paid off. May as well put those back. Find someone else to play while you're tired. Could switch back to Sam, go back to leveling her up a bit. You've got painkillers, you've got pistols prepped, you- oh, your inventory is full. A few people's inventory seemed full. I must have been looting last time I was using them and didn't put them back or something. I guess. 
There's a start. Probably overkill, honestly. There we go.